you know, what North Korea says about uh, the test which happened on Sunday is one thing. What has been observable by folks like uh, yourself uh, could be another. What, I mean, what, what have you seen? What, what do we know new? Well, you know, the North Koreans gave us some pictures, which for somebody like me is like manna from heaven. So typically we analyze those pictures and just looking at it, it, it looks like yet another variant of a short range missile that North Korea has conducted, uh, probably to give itself the ability to use nuclear weapons against U.S. forces in South Korea and, and Japan. So, uh, you know, it's 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 more of the same from North Korea. It's not terribly surprising, but of course, still quite unwelcome. What does it mean? Well, I think that the North Koreans are really committed to shifting their nuclear policy. Right now, they have the ability to, I think, deliver a small number of nuclear weapons against the U.S., so they have some deterrence. But what I think the North Koreans really fundamentally want is the ability to use a much larger number of nuclear weapons uh, against U.S. forces in South Korea and Japan if they thought an invasion was underway. So this is part of a, I, I would say, alarming change in the way that they approach nuclear weapons. And, and that change is really to give themselves the ability to use nuclear weapons first if they think that they're about to be invaded. Does it signal that North Korea is on the verge, on the brink of uh, testing a nuclear weapon? They haven't. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.